day one and be kind of in full playing shape? Uh, it felt good. It was cool. My basketball time is there and, uh, you know, I, I feel good and confident about my body and just about basketball in general. You know, I'm just ready to make plays, make things happen. Good for me to kind of stay in shape. So I'm getting a little older. So it's a little harder to stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. Well, it was cool. I mean, you know, it was, uh, you know, guys that are, you know, like family to me now. And, um, you know, it was really cool to introduce Ron and uh, introduce my Luke. Me and Luke are pretty tight. You know, me and, me and Ron have been tight for a long time. Um, that was a proud moment for me as a basketball player and as, as a teammate, one of my proudest moments. Watching it felt like, like a childhood coming out on stage. Yeah, yeah, it was, you know, the second championship. And, I'm being introduced by a teammate. It's kind of, I haven't seen it yet. I gotta get the tape. I mean, in a short amount of time, you're able to sum up just kind of your sediments growing up with them and all that. And I know a few players were kind of remarked after the game that with just that short amount of time, it was kind of hard to put into words everything. But kind of yeah. in a nutshell, pretty well. I mean, did you kind I think of try uh, to prepare for that, or was it just kind of. Awkward? Um. I prepared mentally a little bit, like I had an idea about what I was going to talk about. I didn't know where I was going to go with it. Um, but I mean, it's kind of easy for me to introduce Ron. Right. You know, I know for so long. What type you guys do that that way? Um, the teams. The teams, Lisa Strada and Tim. You know. You guys pretty excited when you heard about that format? Yeah, I think it's cool. Um, I think it's it's different, so it's not the same yeah, old same awesome. old, you know. Have you yeah. ever seen that? Yeah. It's not the same old same old. I think it was cool. Yeah. So did you wear the ring home last night? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't wear it home, but um, I get ready to uh, put it in the case and give it to my son. He likes those things, so. and he has my other one. So yeah, my gold medal and it's all, it was really all for him. It's for his. The mantelpiece one day. This trophy room. Are we good? You a uh, boxing injury there? Nah. Nah. No, I did this in San Diego. <laughs> in the game. San you Diego. got killed in San Diego. Yeah. You were yeah. like a hockey player. You bled all over the place. Yeah. That was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> then you had Luke. Then you got killed by your Kobe teammates. Were killing like. you. Yeah. <laughs> then yeah. they said you were making all the jokes. Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah, I cut easy. Like uh, too Bayonne much. Bleeders? Yeah, too much <laughs> fatty tissue on my face. And I chiseled enough. I split easy, man, every, all the time. But um, I don't know. You know, shit, I've been playing ball for almost a year straight, so I'm susceptible to injury. Right. Probably about now. Did you did you learn that in particular when you did the boxing offseason treatment? The, the bleeding factor? Yeah, it's part of. But I don't really, you know, I hit the bag and hit. Hit the gloves. I don't really spar too much. I gotta take care of my hands, my pretty face. I can't wait really <laughs> my face. Yeah, teeth are still in good shape, right? Yeah. Yeah. I took a good shot on my nose, though. He hit me like right on the button. Like I thought I broke it because it just started bleeding right away. Yeah. But I don't know if I could be a boxer. Yeah. No. Playing lots of minutes preseason. Yesterday, mm -hmm. is your approach just keep going until you, whenever you hit that wall, or is there a point where you want to dial back? And what's kind of your approach for? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think you know the strength of my, you know, my game is like kind of to keep pushing, play right. while I'm tired, uh, outrun, try to outwork my opponent, and I mean, right. I'll get a chance to rest after this season. Probably be a long off season anyway. Right, right. <laughs> That's what I hear. So I get a chance to rest and uh, go to Puerto Vallarta for a minute. <laughs> Chill out on the beach. You know, wait till I'm ready. You don't have to. I guess one of those things keep pushing. You kind of like subtly realize you have more energy than maybe you thought you might have. Live once, bro. Too. You know what I'm saying? This is uh. Who knows? I always say, you never know. It's gonna get.
you know. So just gotta work while you can. And then you sleep. Sleep later, bro. Yeah. Sleep on the too. When you get to this stage, of your, at this stage of your career, when you start really having this type of success, but also you've been around longer, do you, do you start thinking about the idea of, of maximizing your time more, or just you know maximizing what you can get? I mean, you do. It? You realize time is our best friend and our worst enemy, right? Right. Like experience makes you better, but then you, that means you're running out. So, you know, uh, you do want to maximize your time and take advantage. Love the situation, the opportunities that present themselves. You know, I can't take advantage from Salah. I watch it or not doing anything. I only take advantage by being active and being out there, making appearances, playing ball, putting in the hoop, being on TV. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Never done <laughs> hours in a day. That's it. Working. Because <laughs> what's the alternative? Death? Right. Yeah. yeah probably no, gonna get, no coming back from that one. One last thing about the national team experience. Maybe the guy who was, I think from the outside, the surprise being yeah. even on that rod, making the roster was Eric Gordon. What did you see from him? Well, it was him amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. So, you know, we become friends with all these guys, but uh, to see a guy like that um, kind of rise to the top, man, he plays my language. He played really well. I really, people didn't know how well he handled the ball. People know he was a shooter. They didn't know how great he really shot the ball. And he's strong, it's all outdoors. He, I mean, he played. He played great. He really helped us. Uh, he was like our knockdown three-point shooter. Um, what do you think for a young guy like that? The value of that experience is. I think go a long way. You know, um, especially you know. I mean, who knows how. You know, the, the, the next couple of seasons is going to be as far as winning and losing. And for him, and you know, playing in a situation like that is really going to mature him. It's really going to make him a good teammate and a great player. You're in what, year 10 or 11 this year? In 99, 2000, my first year. So that makes it 11, right? Seven seasons. Um, Wrap it up, guys. Theo's in 16. Do you see yourself playing that long? And what do you think about Theo going to push his body to, you know, um, well, I can see myself playing that long. If somebody want me, I'm the type of guy, if you want me around, then I'll come around. If you don't want me, then I'll go home. But um, shows that he's a warrior, a professional. Comes in every day, gets his work done. Um, works out. Looks great, but I, you know, I know it hurts. <laughs> but, I mean, that's our lifestyle with athletes. It's supposed to hurt.